Hi guys. On today's niche called making A to Z, we are on the letter K, and K is going to stand for Kipperite. Kipperite was a, an, an ore that came out in Mist of Pandaria, which was only mined in the... Oh gosh, now I've gone and forgot what it's called. Probably should have prepared for this video a bit more. It was only mined in the Dread Wastes. So, um, and... Uh, and it didn't, it wasn't really used in a whole lot of stuff. Uh, it was used for some blacksmithing recipes, but as far as like higher tiered content, Kipperite really only had one purpose and that was to be prospected. And it used to be the only ore that stacked to, to 200. So I loved it for shuffling because it saved me a lot of bag space. And I, the fun thing is I still love it for shuffling. So Kipperite is this orange ore and you'll notice I typically can find it for under one gold on my server. I typically have it on a shopping list, which is why you don't see it for under one gold is because I've bought everything that's cheap so far. But either way, you'll see that even the expensive stuff with air quotes there is like the most it possibly is going for on my server right now is four gold, right? You know, we got some twos, we got some ones. Prospecting value is six gold. So what we're going to do is we're going to buy some. I've actually already got some that I've been buying. So it's already in my bags and we're going to disenchant it. I'm not going to use TSM Destroying because I'm late. I'm too lazy to reload my UI to get the thing back up. But we're going to prospect some kip right. Unfortunately, this one will not come with uh with the mass prospecting that we're now used to. But the one thing that this is going to come with is a gem in every prospect. Unlike nowadays where you only get that gem chip, now you're also going to always get at least one of the colored gems. And so the reason that this sells pretty well, or the reason that this is fairly valuable, is because those gems still have some nice uses. The panther mounts, which still sell fairly well, take the blue quality gems. And so people want the blue quality gems. A few of those illusion tomes we talked about a few days ago take some of the blue quality gems. And it's just a really nice, uh, a nice option for shuffling. You can also, just as we did back in the day, you can uh, snatch golden lotus. I snatch them when they're under 10 gold a piece. And uh, you can transmute these, uh, the green quality gems up to blue quality gems if you're running low on something that's fairly valuable. And then you can also craft jewelry with them. So you may recall some of the jewelry that we could craft were things like, let's see here, ornate bands. I would craft a lot of those. So one each of these colors. And then you'll get something that will uh, vendor for nine gold. So you can kind of look at what you might consider crafting to vendor to get more gold out of this versus crafting to disenchant. If the disenchant uh, things are going for a high, high price on your server, basically, it's it, it's the shuffle all over again. The good old Miss Pandaria shuffle is still alive and well. Obviously, items aren't moving nearly as quickly as they did back when they were current content, but the items still move. I've actually sold quite a few of the blue quality gems. Let's see here. I think I've got some. I'm tabbed over to my second account real quick to take a look. I have sold... I've only started doing this over the past two weeks, and I have sold... Uh, 73 reverse heart that's the blue quality uh blue gem so the one that i thought was kind of the least valuable i've sold 73 of those for 70 gold a piece i have sold uh 41 wild jade for 143 gold per piece i have sold 15 vermilion onyx for 90 gold per piece Let's see here. Uh, I'm actually sold out of all the other gems, which is why I don't have them off the top of my head. Let's see here. I have sold uh, 26 primordial rubies for 60 gold per piece. I've sold 33 suns radiance for 70 gold per piece. So I, it's not going to make you rich, but because Kipperite is so cheap, you can shuffle this and still make a really nice profit. So I will go ahead and leave you guys to that. If you're, un if you're unsure what you can do with all these various types of materials, go ahead and look up old um, ghost iron shuffles. Uh, because most people, they it wasn't called the Kipperite Shovel. Most people would do this with Ghost Iron back in the day. You no longer want to do that because that Ghost Iron is more useful making uh, the peculiar energy sources or living steel. Um, however... You can do this with Kipperite because Kipperite doesn't really have any other valuable use. So you get it pretty cheap and you can uh, you can shuffle it and make some good gold. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe and make sure you're sticking around because we are going to have a new niche gold making video every day. You have a great day.